Hello YouTube, it's Accurate again, back with another video, and I'm on the balcony today because this is not a video about beats or gear or music at all, this is an accurate vlog. Alright, and that may very well be the first and last time you see that intro because I'm not sure if I'm comfortable doing this, but I'm gonna give it a try. You know, I started this YouTube channel just to talk about music and making music and do gear reviews and, and all that kind of stuff. And now people all of a sudden are interested in me and they want to know how I feel and how I'm going through stuff in life in general. And the things that I talked about in my last video, which is the brain tumor that I have and that I'm going through surgery in a few weeks. So I just really feel like you guys deserve some kind of update on this. I haven't posted a video in... A month now which is pretty much considered to be a YouTube suicide because you're supposed to be uploading videos constantly and consistently and answering comments and being active in order for your channel to grow but we just hit 50,000 subscribers which is just amazing thanks a lot for that and I really do hope that I'm gonna be able to go back to post my normal videos again but you never know now Thanks a lot for all of the support that I got on my last video. People are rooting for me, sharing for me, giving me hopeful words and comments and praying for me and telling me stories about themselves and what they have gone through and how they kind of adapted in their life and recovered from the stuff that they were going through, which is just so empowering to hear. And it's actually just crazy to realize that people are actually sitting at home in front of their computers or phones and typing stuff to me filled with love and concern and, and you know I'm just trying to say thanks a lot for that that video was hard to make and I, I kind of felt like I had to do it because that's also a way to cope with everything that's going on right now so again thanks a lot I mean it's just I can't even find the right words it's just thanks thank you guys and since I posted that video, I've actually done pretty much exactly what I said that I was going to do. I've spent a lot of time with the family, trying to have a good vacation over the summertime and just doing things that are really fun for me and for my daughter and my family and, you know. The whole part about exercising and working out hasn't really worked out as good as I hope, but, but I've done more of that kind of stuff now than I used to do. And I guess that's at least an improvement, so that's something. And I have been filming a little bit over the summer vacation, so just filming what we've been up to with the family and stuff, so I'm gonna roll that collage later on in this video. It's really nothing special, it's just a few movie clips of what we've been up to over the summer, so I'm just gonna share that because I can. And of course now it starts to rain out here, so let's go back into the studio where I'm more comfortable making videos anyways. Yeah, that's definitely more comfortable for me. So let's talk a little bit about how I'm actually doing at the moment. Today is a really good day. I feel super. Everything is just nice and good and awesome. But to be honest, some days aren't as awesome at all. Some days are just filled with anxiety and stress and I'm just being weird with everything. And other days I have kind of massive headaches and a little bit of dizziness and stuff. I'm not sure that's from the brain tumor itself or if it's just caused by all of the mental things I'm going through with this. Who am I to say, really? I don't know. But generally, I do feel kind of good about stuff. And having one month now where I'm just focusing on the family and myself and the stuff that I do in my normal day-to-day -day life has been good for me. I'm pretty sure of it. I've had some small, like, social issues as well with being around a lot of people and being, like, forced to be happy when I'm not happy and being nice to people when I'm not, like, feeling good. But since everyone around me knows exactly what I'm going through, everyone's really understanding and considerate and everything just works and life just moves on. So that's good. I've spent some time in here making music, but I've also like spent some time on the balcony with the SP404. I made a few sketches of beats in my iPhone and I might have made a mistake in buying the Nintendo Switch just a couple of weeks ago because this has taken a lot of my time. But I've done that with the family as well. Both me, my daughter and my girlfriend are like addicted to this thing. So that's also fun with the family over the vacation and a really nice way to just let everything else go and just relax. I'm definitely not a gamer, but Zelda Breath of the Wild, best game I've ever played. 
Now let's talk a little bit about the future as well. The future of me and the future of this channel. Uh, again, regarding the channel, I'm not making any promises. I'm just doing this when it's fun and I don't want to do a lot of video projects that I don't feel like doing. But as I said in my last video, some of the projects are just too fun to say no to. And one of those is this. It's called Create Your Bass and it's hosted by Native Instruments in Berlin, Germany. It's an event that I'm going to together with a lot of different YouTubers and content creators and musicians. I've met some of the people that are going to this event before, like Bo Beats, he's pretty much a friend by now. And of course Joe from Sounds and Gear who I met at the previous event in Germany hosted by Thoman at Treppendorf. But I'm just so excited to be able to meet everyone else. We have Sarah the Instrumentalist, Courtney Hawkins, That's Some Music, Lou Pop, Marcus Kincaid, Knock Squared, and yeah, I'm forgetting a lot of names here, but I'm excited to meet all of you guys at the event. So yeah, I'm going to Germany again in two weeks to visit Native Instruments headquarters. Thanks a lot Native Instruments and thanks a lot Mick Benjamins for hooking this up. This is gonna be a lot of fun, I'm just sure of it. But that's pretty much all I have planned. I'm going to the event, then I don't know what I'm gonna post or what kind of video I'm gonna make or if I'm even gonna make a video. <laughs> No, it's not fun. It would be kind of fun to make some kind of beat making video again on the channel, but I'm not promising anything. I'm not. Now, just as I wrote in one of my comments on my last video, I am going through a lot right now and I can't promise you anything in terms of videos or content, but I'm not asking for any financial support either. I know that a lot of you guys wants to help out in any way that you can, but I do live in Sweden and we have this kind of working healthcare system. So the surgery and the aftercare is not going to cost me like anything. So that's why I haven't set up like a GoFundMe page or anything like that. It's just not necessary. I do have a Patreon page where you can go in and just donate if you want to, but I'm really not taking care of that Patreon page. I'm not posting anything. I'm not doing special updates or anything on that page. It's just a Patreon. So I guess that's the only way that you can help me out financially if you want to. But again, I'm not asking for it. It's not necessary because again, Sweden. I do appreciate the support. I do appreciate all of the love that I see in the comments. And I do appreciate all of the prayers and all the hopeful comments and everything that I get. And one really cool thing that I wasn't expecting is that a lot of the companies that I've worked with or even like mentioned in a video has reached out to me and just showed me a little bit of love. I guess my last video just talking about the brain tumor and the stuff and the surgery and everything actually struck a note and people are concerned about me, which feels so freaking great. Now this video is officially getting way too long. So let's cut in this one minute collage of my summer. Watch that if you want to, or just don't. However, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for helping me reach 50,000 subscribers, which is still just crazy. See you in the next one. Until then, how to go.